Trainer Michael Moore and his barn have had a fast start in 2022 at Parks Racing. But where did it begin? Well, uh, growing up, I had nothing to do with horses. Uh, probably about 16, 17, I went to the racetrack, liked it. Uh, long story short, I ended up going out to Danny Lopez's farm, working off and on for years actually out there. In the meantime, I went to uh, Rutgers, graduated from Rutgers. Some jobs on the backside, working for a couple of people, mostly for Lopez. And then went, ended up working on the starting gate five or six years here in Monmouth. I ended up getting lucky, getting one, uh, getting a good horse that made me a bunch of money, allowed me to get a couple more horses. Um, ended up, you know, quitting the gate, getting a couple owners, and for I guess about the last nine years, uh, train on my own. Working in different roles at the racetrack, what lessons did Michael Moore learn? I mean, honestly, I think the starting gate was a great place to learn, just handling horses, because on the starting gate you see everything, bad horses, you know, what they're doing, the whole process of getting a horse okayed, you know, to come out of the gate. You know, I, I don't think people even think about that type of stuff, the, the things that go on up at the starting gate. But, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, just basically just being around horses, you know, seeing all different horses, you know, different aspects too, even doing their teeth, like, like all, all types of stuff. How important is the starting gate experience for a racehorse? It's a bigger part for younger horses. You know, once the horses have run, and they, they know what they're doing, unless they start to act bad, and then you got to take them up there and stand them to get them to calm down and stuff. But mostly, the process is for horses that are beginning their career. A trainer works to find good owners. Michael Moore has gained several owners in less than a decade. At the beginning, it's tough because, you know, you know, you don't, you're trying to like please the owner, you know, you, you know, it, and you feel pressure from them, you know. Once you're more established and you're more confident, I guess, in yourself, you know, you, you, you can, I guess it's easier just to say the way it is, you know, whereas, you know, you might want to sugarcoat something at the beginning because like, oh, I don't want to give them bad news or something like that. After a win, Moore talks to his owners in an honest way about the next race. I think you, you give it a couple days, you know, because everybody loves a win and you don't want to, you know, bring anybody down. But um, you're right, though, because people want to shoot higher than they probably want to. You know, it, you know, like a, a typical trainer line is, well, we'll see how he comes out of the race, you know, that type of stuff. Does trainer Michael Moore look to win the big races? You know, I'm basically a claiming trainer. I got some some nicer horses, but basically a claiming trainer. So. You know, to win the big races, you need you need big horses. You know, we won a claim and crown race a couple years ago, and that that was really nice to do. You know, but uh, you know, you got to win those bigger races. You got to get some of the you know big time horses, really. What advice does trainer Michael Moore have for young emerging trainers? Definitely the best way, and I think the only way is you've got to work with them. You know, you got to work with the horses. You know, to gain experience. However, that being said, I will say. You learn the most, in my opinion, when you have your own horse and you got to do it yourself. You know what I mean? Because you care more then and you're really paying attention, you know. So, uh, you know, but I mean, you just need to work around them for a while. I mean, it, you know, it's a lot of work, you know, we're here all the time, you know, but, but you love it. So that's why you do it, really.